Daisy was very excited. So Topham Hat had sent her to help out on Thomas's branch line. She couldn't wait to see her old friends, Thomas, Percy, Toby, and even Annie and Clarabelle. But most of all, her old passengers. Morning, Percy! Oh, Daisy! So nice to see you again! Boy, it feels good to be back! That's it, everyone! This is the last stop of my old branch line. Wow, what a smooth ride! Thank you, Miss, uh... Coach? Oh, um, actually, I'm a diesel rail car, but lucky guess, my dear fellow. That's wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Uh, I prefer the term highly sprung. And fully modern. Oh, I say. Oh, soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tugging is done, we'll take our leave and go. Ahoy there, me lassie. Where be the quarry I be heading for? Uh, 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 problem? Oh, uh, sorry, uh, p pardon my manners. Uh, the quarry is not too far from the station. Um, I say, who may I ask are you? Oh, uh, forgot the introductions. The name's Salty, the Dockside Diesel. Ha 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 ha. Well, I'm Daisy, the Diesel Railcar. The one and only railcar of this island. Oh, so you're the Daisy Mavis has been telling me about. You know Mavis? Of course, lassie. I sometimes help her out at the quarry when the order's too much for her. Hmm, I see. Well, you best be off now, and be careful with the quarry dust. It'd be bad for my paint and my swerves. Oh, never fear. <laughs> great sailor men take great care with their special work. <laughs> Way high and up she rises, way high and up she rises, way high and up she rises, early in the morning. <laughs> Quite the fellow he is. Over in the quarry, Mavis was struggling with the troublesome trucks. Quarry dust flew everywhere. <sighs> I cannot take up with the stress. <coughs> Ahoy! Fear not, Mavis. We'll have you out in a jiffy. Oh, Salty. Am I so glad to see you again. The two engines were soon hard at work. With Salty's help, the work for Mavis became very easy. Salty even showed her how to handle the troublesome truck. There once was a ship that put to sea. The name of the ship was the Belly of Tay. The winds blew up about it down. Blow my bully boys blow. Huh! Soon may the weller man come. To bring the sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tugging is done, we'll take our leave and go. <laughs> Yes, with Salty's help, the work seemed very easy, and all the engines were grateful for his help. The only one who didn't seem to put up with Salty was Daisy herself. I just can't understand it, Thomas. Can't understand what, Daisy? Oh, don't tell me. Is it your swerves again? No. You still don't like pulling milk vans? No. Or maybe it was that time you pulled a fast one on me. No, the it's about Salty. Oh, what about him? He's a very fun engine and a hard worker. Yes, he works real hard, I'll give him that. But I just can't p put up with the noise he has. All the singing, storytelling, and don't even get me started of the smell of fish. Okay, I admit Salty's a little smelly when it comes to his work. 
but he's still a fun engine with his stories. Without him, Brendam Docks wouldn't be as clean as a whistle. <laughs> I'm sure the docks would be as far off without an engine like that. Singing and sea tales is beneath me. <laughs> what a funny engine that Daisy is. Meanwhile, Daisy had to pick up some work from the quarry. She was very uncomfortable, especially when seeing Salty again. The singing, too bad for an engine as he is. Uh, Daisy, you don't have ears, you know. Oh, it's the polar opposite. Even if I didn't have any, it'd still be a pain to listen to his stories. His, his ten is singing too. Um, Ahoy, Mavis! Where do you want these scallywaggers to be dropped at? The far siding by the left, Salty. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha! All in the day's work, Mavis. Then there was trouble. As Salty was dutifully shunting trucks, Daisy came from around the bend and was on the same track that Salty was on. She was so distracted thinking about Salty that she didn't see him up ahead. Whoa! Shiver me timbers! Watch out, mate! E! Come again. Whoa! Whoa, hey! Look out! Oh, so much for a break I deserve. Goodness gracious! What happened here? Ah, never fear, Mavis. The mess ain't too big, but it'll hold the workload. Are you right, Daisy? Ugh, never better, darling. Looks like you both need to go to the D's work soon. Right, I'll go get Harvey. He'll know what to do. Sit tight. Don't go anywhere, okay? <laughs> Very funny. The hours went by, but there was still no sign of Mavis or Harvey anywhere. The engines began to grow bored. You know, if you'd like, I could tell one of my stories for free. Oh, uh, goodness, no, it's okay. I, I'd i rather listen to the quarry, uh, but... The <laughs> Count how many wheels there are on these trucks. <laughs> okay, well, seeing as I've got nothing better to do, I may as well hear just one, if you please. All right. Well, strap yourself in, lass. Here comes the time the haunted ocean liner first sailed onto Sodor waterways. First, it was a very calm day at the sea. Seagulls calling out for each other, seagoing folks minding their own business, when all of a sudden, they so the next few hours, Salty kept Daisy company, telling stories about haunted ocean liners, big scary krakens, and brave daring sailors. Daisy was so impressed, she forgot all about being dirty. Well, what do you think of that, my e? Very, very interesting, I'd say. But I must ask, how did they manage to take down that giant menacing octopus? Well, allow me to further explain. He needed the time, for Mavis and Harvey had arrived at the site. Ha, oh, don't worry. I'm used to these kind of messes. Ah, oh, Daisy, fancy seeing you here. But I didn't expect a view of all engines to cause this mess. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Salty and Daisy are now firm friends. They don't usually see each other from time to time, given how Salty works at the docks. But whenever they do, Daisy always asks Salty to tell her more about the docks, the sea, the ships, and the great sailors of, of all. Daisy had agreed that she had made a very, very good friend out of Salty.